Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and this is Angela in Resale Land. And today we're going to talk about how am I going to keep myself a cannibal with the start of the school year because I have a kiddo and life. How am I going to keep myself accountable? What are my goals? I'm trying to figure out what my goals are and some systems that I can put in place to keep me on track through all life's craziness. So if that's of interest to you, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this. If you're still here, it means that you're interested into like figuring out ways to keep yourself accountable as a reseller or at least see what I'm doing. So today I actually um, kind of evaluating the upcoming month of September. It is August, the end of August, 2021 right now. And my kiddo's getting ready to go back to school. Um, I have some other family obligations. I also invoice, just, just minor invoicing for a uh, piano company, moving company that I used to work for before. So I do some invoicing for them as long as well as um, doing my, running my eBay and reselling business. So I sell on eBay. That's my main platform, Macari and Poshmark. And today I'm really trying to sit down with myself to figure out with all the obligations that I have out there, what can I really do? What needs to continue? What do I need to get rid of? How much time can I spend on everything? What are my goals? So for me, I guess that took me to a place of, well, first of all, what are my goals? And for me, I see I've been um, doing most of my stuff on eBay. So my main platform and source of income is eBay. So I want that to continue. And then um, I also sell on Poshmark on my car, and I still want to do those, but I, I won't have time to invest as much time. And I actually haven't invested a whole lot of time in those ones anyway. I don't cross post. I don't like cross posting. I worry about taking things down in a timely manner before it sells somewhere else, and it's just too much stress for me. So for now, maybe someday, I, oops, sorry, I don't mean to kick the camera. For now, um, I'm, I don't cross post. So that being said i have some tools that i'm going to use to help me figure out what my goals are i have this um like white board it's it's not a white it's not a board but it's like this paper that's laminated and it helps me i wrote down some things i want to track to figure out what my goals are like as far as ebay because that's my main platform as far as poshmark and macari if i can whenever i can list and get items i don't have trouble sourcing i have tons and tons and tons of items so i'm lucky that i don't have to worry about sourcing doing time to source i have everything i need right now for a long while so that is a huge thing as a reseller so since i have that piece in place it's the listing <laughs> of it and of course, it's the most fun for me. The most fun is the shopping and acquiring. But anyway, you can't always do what you want. And in this, you know, since I'm kind of busy, like everyone else, I'm actually really glad that I don't have to worry about the resourcing right now. Maybe once in a while when I have a stress release, I'll go out somewhere and get a couple things. But at least I don't have worry about having to get it. So now it's the listing part. So for me right now, if I list uh, at least like, five to 10 things on Macari and Poshmark per week, I feel like I'm happy and I'm, as long as I'm like being active, maybe even one or two things a day, that's great from, for those platforms. Um, my main focus is gonna be eBay, like it usually is, and continue that. And I wanna list at least 10 items a day, Monday through Friday, and five items a day, Saturday and Sunday, giving myself a little bit of a break on the weekends. So, that being said, I also have to figure in now teaching schedule. I have to teach um, or get in 24 hours. No, excuse me, 27 hours and 45 minutes per week with my son. So all this, the shipping, the listing, the pictures, the accounting, all of that, including the invoicing I do for another company and taking care of my other family members and whatever else life throws, not to mention dinner, a household, a husband, you know, all the things. Um, <laughs> to make sure I get those in there. So I have to really be on point. So I've come up with a bag system that I'm gonna, I'm a visual learner. So for me, visibly, visibly seeing what I have to list 
throughout the week is going to be really helpful. So I'm going to show you this bag system I'm implementing. It's nothing fancy and the bags I got for free from my mom. She uses Smith's Brothers so she kept their bags and I just wrote the days of the week on them. You'll see. I'll, I'll put insert a clip. In fact, I think I will go ahead and insert that clip here. Okay, so here's the bags I'm talking about. And I've put my goal amount of items for the day in each bag. And I've labeled them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Monday through Friday, I want to try to do at least... 10 items a day so I put 10 items in each bag and then on the weekends I'm giving myself a little break and just doing five um, and so we're gonna try this and I will not go to bed until each of the days bags are listed so here's my first week which will be next week which is also the start of the new school year so we'll see how this goes but at least I can visually see what I have to list and visuals for me I'm a visual learner so I'm hoping this will help me stay on track. So this is one of the parts that I was talking about as far as doling out the items to get a visual and what I have to list. And then after it's ended up, uh, after it's empty, I'll save it. And then on Sunday, I will refill all the bags. So that's my plan for inventory. Visualization is what I call it. Okay, so now that you saw my bag system, I want to show you um, what I want to keep track of throughout every, well, each day to also help me stay on track. Okay, the second part of my strategy to increasing my listings and my sales is going to be this calendar. And this is the one I talked about in August that I said I wasn't going to go to bed until I had it filled out. And then Nene had his teeth out and my mom had some things and it was crazy and it was the last part of summer. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with Nene in school, and so I decided to give myself a break and just not worry about it. Start it in September. So I have everything pre-written on here. It's just a plain calendar that I've listed things. I mean, not listed things. That I've written um, things I want to keep track on. So I have here, you can see, it says, so start, and this is all eBay from eBay, by the way. Just eBay. I'm just checking eBay because that's my main platform. So... This is going to be the number of items that I start the day with. So how many items are in my store? How many did I ship that day? How many did I list that day? How many did I sell that day? And anything extra I want to know, like maybe I can put down Poshmark or Macari. And then what did I end up for that day in my eBay store? Just those simple things. Not even tracking dollar amounts at this point. I just am going to track um, items. And then we'll, we'll expand to that later. But I figure to give myself a good start um, and some solid information that I can track daily. And then I won't go to bed until that bag and this is filled out in September. So that is my goal for myself. To help increase my productivity, my accountability, and my sales. Okay, so that's the second piece. Now, my last thing, which I probably should have shown you first, was... How did I come up with my goals and like what do I want to keep track of going forward to continue to grow my business? Because I do. I don't want it. I want to continue to grow my business and get better. All right. And this is the third part to my accountability and sales increase that I want to talk about. I have actually, this is hanging on my door as you come into my office. And I know it's a little messy, but it's like one of those dry erase um, things. So it's helpful. So this I did, and this was for, um, actually this was back in June, and I'm going to start using it again. Um, and I didn't want things to get um, accidentally brushed away for this video, so I put it on post-it notes and I can change them out. But these are some of the things I was tracking. So I would put the date um, that I do this. This is just to kind of help reevaluate your goals for each month. And I'm actually going to be reevaluating mine because I'm going to be... Um, my son's teacher this year along with running in my business and I also do some invoicing for a piano moving company so uh, as long as well as some other things for my family so I have many 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 jobs so I 
reselling is going to be my main source of income, but I don't know if I'll be able to call myself a full-time reseller because I'll be teaching my son 27 hours and 45 minutes each week. So I'm kind of demoting myself to part-time reseller because I'm going to be taking on my son's education. Now that being said, I used to be a teacher um, and uh, I directed a school for a little while, a very short, brief little while before I ended up getting pregnant with my son. And anyway, long story short, I'm going back in to teach my son um, through our, I'm hoping, um, our, our district homeschool education resource center. So that's going to be taking up a lot of my time. So I'm going to reevaluate my goals. And in order to do that, this is what I use. So I'll put the date that I do it. Then I've been tracking for the previous month, like what was my average daily items sold? So how many did I sell per day average? How much did I sell monthly? Um, what was my average total uh, amount sold daily? Just not the number, but also the amount monthly. I look at the average daily uh, profit daily, so it's after taxes, cost of goods, fees, everything. What was it monthly? I look at the average number listed daily and monthly. I look at the average number shipped daily and the average sale price. So, and then here I have post-its and goals. Like, so what is my goal daily? What is, and then the bottom's the monthly. So what is my goal daily? What is my goal monthly? Um, same thing for all these. And then I put on this side what I'm actually doing. So I will be reassessing that. And if this is something you're interested in seeing, let me know in the comments below. And I would be happy to share these things with you as I go through them, if that's something you're interested in seeing. So that's this part. And I also want to continue to do YouTube. So on top, uh, even though I'm not monetized and I'm not even near getting monetized, I don't care. This is something I enjoy for me. It's an outlet. Um, I like meeting new people in the resellering community or some people aren't even resellers. They actually just think I'm funny or they want to see what I'm doing or get information or so that's great too. I'll meet anyone. Um, I want to keep doing that even if I don't ever get monetized. This is um, just something that I I like doing and it's helpfully, helpfully, helpfully. It's helpful for me too to look back and be able to see what threads like what projects have I started that I haven't finished like what do I need to continue and that is priceless to me so this is something I want to keep doing on top of all that so that being said I'm taking all these pieces into consideration and I'm going to try and black out my day accordingly and things happen but I want to try and get like basics of like you know I can go to sleep and feel like I've done a great job after these tasks are complete like after I've listed my 10 items after I filled out my calendar um, those kinds of things so those are the, those are the three tools that I am using right now to help me stay on track and accountable and increase my sales and my business and I hope they're helpful for you too leave me comments if you you know I'd love to hear what everybody else does you know for those um, if you have any questions leave a comment I also have my email address um, I'll put that in the in the description below and with that thanks so much for watching I hope this was helpful stay tuned for I have um, I love Halloween and fall it's my favorite season and I have uh, I think I'm gonna split it into two parts because I have a lot of stuff in my store so I'm pulled I pulled everything out of my um, well not out of my store it's still in my store but I, I pulled all the physical items and I'm gonna show you what I have listed for Halloween and how much and what it cost me. And I want you to kind of see um, what kind of things you might be looking for at the Goodwills or stores. Um, the only place I do retail arbitrage is the Disney outlet. And I love going there. I get some great deals and I, it always sells eventually. So I have some th Disney um, store, Disney parks, Halloween items. I have, um, a bolo if you don't know b-o-l-o -O, it's a be on the lookout and i have a bolo item that i want everyone to be on the lookout for if you can find them have a great morning noon or night whenever you are watching this thanks so much for tuning in and i will talk to you later bye